Thanks for joining us at six. We are just minutes away from the very moment that would change Memphis forever. 55 years ago, April 4th, 1968, at 601 p.m., Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, the nation losing a civil rights icon. Today, in honor of Dr. King, he was inducted into the Teamsters Union. Some would say a move long overdue because it was the Teamsters who helped organize Memphis sanitation workers who were on strike, saying they just wanted to be treated like men. As it does every year tonight, the National Civil Rights Museum, formerly the Lorraine Motel, where a bullet took Dr. King's life, is remembering his life and legacy. The 39-year-old came here to inspire those striking workers by marching for better pay and benefits, which those workers got in a deal reached just 12 days after Dr. King's death. Although months later, when it appeared the city council was wavering a little, the union had to threaten another strike to make sure the city kept its word. Dr. King's assassination was felt around the world, of course, and it sparked riots across the country in cities like Chicago, New York, Baltimore, and many others. It was the kind of violence Dr. King fought against. But Floyd McKissick, the director of the Congress of uh, Racial Equality at the time, spoke for thousands when he proclaimed, nonviolence is a dead philosophy, and it was not the black people that killed it. Right now you are looking live at the Civil Rights Museum where Memphians, old friends, former protesters and many others are honoring Dr. King because it is now 601 when a moment of silence is being broken only by those ringing bells you heard whose purpose is to ask all of us to rededicate ourselves to becoming a united, equitable and inclusive nation.